she just loved to love. Um, her personality was outgoing and charismatic. She was everything a mom wanted her child to be. She was my baby. She's, um, just... She was daddy's girl, that's for sure. And that dimple of hers, that dimple just lit her face up. She had one particular dimple on her, on her right side. Uh, Brittany was a lifelong resident of Albuquerque. She grew up here, she went to school here, she had many friends and, and connections. It's hard to even state what the absolute devastating loss is to Brittany's daughter and her mom, who both miss her dearly and are still in touch with our department on a weekly basis. I want to know what happened, like how, who she was with, and how many people were around her, or what was the situation, or how exactly happened. My daughter loved her daughter so much and they took my daughter away from my granddaughter. And that's something she will never have a mother to confide on, to teach her things, to do things with that grandma doesn't have energy to do. Um, so they took something really big from our family that meant so much. So quickly we were able to get surveillance video from the hospital and determine a likely vehicle that dropped her off. Um, and that's how the investigation kicked off. Eventually we were able to determine that at least one other occupant inside the car was her boyfriend. Um, who goes by the name of Dabs, his real name was Brandon Yazi, um, and that he was also shot in the same incident. Um, within a few days of the homicide, Brandon unfortunately passed away from an overdose outside of Albuquerque, and we were never able to actually interview him. Well, right now the investigation feels strongly that Brandon and Brittany were both in the same car, and they were shot by someone standing outside of that car. I think we need a, finally, we need some peace and capture whoever did this and, and gosh, we need a, we need to close this chapter in our life already.